we're going to, what we're going to do here at the cross this railroad crossing, we're going to high side it a bit and bring it back down. That will ease out that bump, right? And also, you're not going direct, your front tire is not directly hitting the railroad crossing dead on, right? Yep, sure. Take a little high side. Three, four. This button in the front of it, right, is your high, low range, right? So one, two, three, four, you're in low range. Five, six, seven, eight, you're in high range. On the side of the shifter, it's got a splitter. So basically, you go one, and then split, right? Push it forward, now you're in one and a half percent, right? They say it's a full gear, well, it's one overdrive, right? So basically, that's how they get 16 out of it, right? So you got eight, and then you split all eight, right? This gives you 16, and then you got low and reverse. So that will give you 18. Signal to the right and keep shifting up. Shift. One, two. That's it. You don't have. There's nothing beside you or behind you, right? So you you don't want to obstruct traffic. So you keep shifting up. see between those two signs right up there 7 to 20 seconds that's the time you have to make a turn if there's five cars in front of you you've lost 20 seconds already yeah. so you're not going to make it right a lot of people don't even know that sign exists right that's why i keep telling you scan right look around and see what you can see 